Titanium is often called the space age metal because of its incredible properties. Lightweight yet strong, resistant to corrosion, and capable of withstanding extreme temperatures. It's used in everything from jet engines to medical implants, sports equipment, and even luxury watches. But have you ever wondered how this extraordinary material is made? Today, we're taking you on an exciting journey to discover how titanium is transformed from raw or into the sleek, shiny metal we see in modern technology. Stick around till the end to learn the secrets behind its production, and if you love discovering how the world's most amazing materials are made, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Let's dive in. Part 1. Mining the Raw Material The story of titanium begins deep beneath the Earth's surface. Unlike gold or silver, titanium isn't mined as pure metal. Instead, it's found in ores like ilmenite and rutile, which contain titanium dioxide, TO2, the raw material needed for production. These ores are located in countries like Australia, South Africa, and Canada. Massive mining machines and equipment are used to extract the ore from open pit mines. After extraction, the ore is transported to processing facilities, where it's crushed into smaller pieces to prepare it for the next stage. What's fascinating is how little titanium is found in its natural state. It's rare and requires a lot of processing to isolate it. This makes titanium production both challenging and expensive. Part 2. Transforming or into sponge. Now that we have titanium-rich ore, it's time to turn it into titanium sponge, the first solid form of the metal. This step is where the science gets exciting, involving a complex chemical process called the Kroll process. First, the titanium dioxide, TO2, is mixed with chlorine and carbon, then heated to extreme temperatures in a furnace. This creates a liquid called titanium tetrachloride, TCL4, which is purified to remove any unwanted elements. Next comes the reduction process. Titanium tetrachloride is reacted with magnesium or sodium in a sealed chamber filled with an inert gas, like argon. This reaction produces titanium sponge, a solid but porous version of the metal that looks almost like coral. The titanium sponge is then carefully cleaned and broken into smaller pieces. At this stage, it's still rough and unrefined, but it's the foundation for creating pure titanium metal. Part 3. Melting and Casting the titanium sponge is now ready to be melted into a more usable form. This is done in a vacuum arc furnace, where the sponge is heated to its melting point of over 3000 degrees Fahrenheit, 1650 degrees Celsius. Here's the cool part. The entire process happens in a vacuum or under inert gas to prevent oxygen or nitrogen from reacting with the molten titanium. Even a tiny amount of contamination can weaken the metal, so precision is key. The molten titanium is poured into molds, creating ingots, large, solid blocks of pure titanium. These ingots are then inspected for any defects, ensuring they meet the industry's strict quality standards. Part 4. Forming the final product. Once the titanium is in ingot form, the rayol work begins. The ingots are heated and processed into various shapes and sizes through methods like forging, rolling, or extrusion. For example, sheets and plates, used in the aerospace industry for aircraft panels. Bars and rods, ideal for medical implants like artificial joints or screws. Tubes and pipes, essential for chemical processing plants due to titanium's corrosion resistance. These processes require extreme precision because titanium is not an easy metal to work with. It's strong but also brittle at certain temperatures, meaning even minor errors can cause cracking or warping. Part 5. Coating and Finishing. Now that the titanium has taken shape, it's time to refine it for specific uses. This involves coating and finishing, where the metal is treated to enhance its performance and appearance. One popular method is anodizing, a process that adds a thin oxide layer to the surface, giving titanium vibrant colors like blue, gold, or purple. This is commonly seen in luxury watches and high-end jewelry. For industrial applications, titanium may be coated to improve its durability or resistance to extreme environments, like saltwater or high heat. These finishing touches make titanium suitable for the most demanding jobs. Part 6. Sustainability in Titanium Production Titanium production is energy-intensive, but the industry is working hard to reduce its environmental impact. Many factories recycle titanium scrap, reducing the need for raw materials and saving energy. For example, aerospace companies often recycle titanium offcuts from manufacturing processes, melting them down to create new products. Additionally, some titanium producers are using renewable energy sources like solar or wind power to run their operations. 
this focus on sustainability ensures that titanium remains a valuable resource for generations to come. Part 7. Why Titanium is so special? Why go through all this effort to make titanium? The answer lies in its incredible properties. Lightweight, it's 45% lighter than steel, making it ideal for aircraft and spacecraft. Strong, it has one of the highest strength-to-weight ratios of any metal. Corrosion-resistant, titanium doesn't rust, even in harsh environments like seawater. Biocompatible, it's safe for use in the human body, perfect for medical implants. These qualities make titanium worth every ounce of effort, from mining to production. Part 8. The Final Thought From deep beneath the earth to the cutting-edge industries of today, the story of titanium is a testament to human ingenuity and the power of science. It's amazing to think that such a rare and complex metal has become an essential part of our modern lives. What surprised you most about the titanium-making process? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey into the world of titanium, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.